7th graders. Hello, 7th graders. Sometimes the video when it starts is all off. I'm definitely off my game now because I, in my previous video, I had this movie recording part of the video just stop. It just completely stopped and I got frustrated, panicked, and I should have just X'd out of this. I'm not going to touch this again. I should have just X'd out, started up again, uh, but I didn't. I stopped the video and now there's going to be a part 4A and a part 4B video for the Black Panther project. Okay, um, so this is going to be part 4B, this video. I'm going to start here, letters F through H, and I'm just going to pick up where I left off, or maybe even a little before that. Okay, letter F. Where is your superhero base going to be? Outside your selected city, in a tall building, etc. This answer is going to be partially determined by the type of hero you are envisioning. By types, I mean the Batman type versus Iron Man type. Batman is notorious for his wicked awesome Batcave that exists under his mansion, which is a secret base that helps protect Bruce Wayne's identity and his resources. Iron Man is similar to Batman in a lot of ways. You know, they're both not super powered. They are, they rely on tech, you know. Style of base is not one of these ways. He has built Stark Tower for a base. A gigantic skyscraper in the middle of one of the largest cities in the world. There's even a joke about it in the first Avengers, right? The point I'm trying to make right now is that you have to choose a location that fits your hero. And for where is your superhero base going to be? This is not a part that requires too much thought, but you do want to think about your hero and who they are for writing if they're outside your selected city in a tall building or something like that. Okay. I'm going to move on here. G, how will this location enable your hero to help people to the best of their ability? H, what are some special features of your base? You may simply list them below. Okay. Your powers play a crucial role in the selection process also. For example, if your hero can teleport, then the base can theoretically be anywhere. And I mean anywhere within your country, that is. So really not anywhere. It's, it's pretty limited. The hero can teleport to any location within your country that is in need of a hero. You cannot build an expensive, high-tech base unless you have selected super rich as a power. If you haven't picked that power, then you need to go back to the powers you have picked. If your hero can fly, maybe they live in one of the highest apartment buildings in the city. In the original Spider-Man movie trilogy, so early 2000s, early to mid 2000s, he lived in a high-rise apartment in New York, which provided Spider-Man with Easy access to web swinging amongst the skyscrapers. The main idea I'm trying to get across here is that your base has to complement your hero's powers. G, how will this location enable your hero to help people to the best of their ability? Base has to help that. And it's up to you to decide and explain how it does that. Special features? Well, come on. Think about this. You've got your bad cave with the high tech stuff, uh, your Stark Tower with more high tech stuff, um, special features, anything that might come to mind when designing a base. It could be like a fortress. It could be almost like a hospital if healthcare is an issue in your country. Again, the base, really think about it. Go back to your country. What are the current issues? How is the base going to help the hero deal with the issues? Letter I. Go back onto Google Earth slash Google Maps and find a location for where your base, the Batcave or Stark Tower example, is going to be. You may use Street View for this or simply have a picture from a bird's eye view. Once you have done that, draw your base or base design on the map. 
Insert your image below or images. Hmm. Okay. So now you have to go onto Google Earth or Google Maps and find the absolute location for where your base is going to be. It's, it says bird's eye, but probably closer than bird's eye. Um, where was I? So yeah, on the, the iPads, on the iPads, this part of the project was simpler due to being able to use a variety of apps to digitally design a base on a Google Earth image. Now you're all home and some of you might not have that capability. You should still include an image from Google Maps. However, you can draw a base on paper and not have to worry about drawing it to relative scale on the map image. Now I'm going to show you an image of what you can possibly make. Of course, and more technical difficulties for Mr. Roth. He did not make his movie recording float on top and he has failed both videos. Oh boy, go away. There we go, okay. This, now I'm all off. I grabbed this image off of Google Earth's Street View. It is the city of Shanghai, China, so you can't steal the image. Always thinking, because China's in Asia. Okay, I screenshotted it, saved it to my photos, and then took the image to the app assembly. I used the assembly app to design a building that is relatively to scale in the city. It does not have to be perfect, and it really can't be perfect. I mean, it's not. Having said that, I'm going to take some points off if your base isn't to scale. If you decide to include multiple different images or angles of your base, that is going to improve your grade. Again, this is an example of what you can do. This would be a good grade. Just this image with this building, um, the exemplar that is attached to your post. Well, that's uh, future tense because it hasn't been posted yet when I'm making this video. The exemplar has another assembly image that is adapting a Google Earth Street image to the project. Okay, I'm going to get back to script. Oh, I guess that's it. Wow, that um, malfunction really threw me off my game. Sorry, guys. Okay, so this video is, and combined with the video beforehand, it's gone on for long enough. I really hope that my videos are actually helping you all understand how to complete this project. If you have any questions, email me or get a hold of me from 115. Oh, I need to change that. I am sorry. Let me start over. Get a hold of me from 1 to 3 o'clock on Google Meet. The link to my Google Meet is it was sent out in a Google Calendar invite. And you can find me there again every weekday, Monday through Friday, 1 to 3, until the school year is over. As always, subscribe to my channel so that you can stay up to date on the newest materials for social studies and science, and also stay up to date on the many, many technological malfunctions of Mr. Roth, for those of you that love to see me struggle. Until next time, Mr. Roth out.